What's going on everybody? Uh, today's a little different adventure. It's 9 p.m. currently and uh, walking to this movie theater that I painted a few months ago right when the whole quarantine thing happened. I think this is the best vantage point. It looks pretty cool. It's pretty open. So tonight, so today, or tonight, I'm gonna paint it at night. It has some really cool lights on the tower part of it that's lit up and it uh, looks really cool. So hopefully I'll be able to pull it off. Hopefully I can capture this at night. All right, so I just made it to the spot. It's a little creepy because there's no one out here and it's kind of dark. You guys probably can't even see it, but uh, there's my subject behind me. Some red lights, a little bit of yellow and some kind of white lights. Try to make this happen quickly. But uh, there's some restaurants and things over there, a bunch of people and stuff, so it's not too creepy. But uh, hopefully I can make this a good one in this sketchbook. It's definitely different than anything I've tried. So if nothing else, I tried and it's an experiment. So it should be cool. Oh, and actually uh, I, I bought a new pair of like LED lights that I can clip onto the sketchbook. You guys will see how I'm going to light up the sketchbook. Hopefully that looks well. So that's how I'm able to paint this at night because I got these little portable battery powered LED light so should be really cool all right folks so check it out got the LED lights clipped on and uh, they were super bright they were super bright it was weird to, to get used to this looking down at my sketchbook and then looking up at my subject which was completely dark um, so I started out pretty strong here with some strong color yellows and reds I felt really good about this when I first started it looked really nice really good um, I was really hopeful that this was going to be a good painting. But uh, you know how that goes. You know, in the first few minutes, it always looks pretty, you know, you're always feeling pretty good for the most part. Uh, this is the easy part, you know, putting some washes down or some strong color. But we can see when it dries how much it fades off. And uh, I was using a lot of pigment too. So I was surprised at how much it was kind of fading. But I kind of knew that would happen. Um, so I'm just working on capturing the harmony of this scene and the values. That's really my main focal point. I'm not worried too much about edges here, um, just because this is my first time <laughs> trying a nocturne, like a painting at night like this. Uh, so I I'm not too concerned with the edges, like making things soft or hard or anything. I'm just focused strictly on the color, trying to get light effects with these these colored lights which are pretty challenging like red and yellow lights on this building that was probably the most challenging part and uh, i felt pretty good at this stage at least with this yellow light it's like okay it's starting to look like a light effect sort of um and i kept pushing the darks so i kept pushing the value and stuff so i was feeling pretty good with the values i was getting that was one of my concerns. I was afraid that I wasn't going to be able to get dark enough. Um, so I really tried to push that. I really tried to get super dark uh, and not be afraid to go pretty dark with this because I, I knew it's going to be a darker painting. It's a nocturne uh, and I knew it wasn't going to be perfect. It was my first time ever doing this, literally painting at night outside using an LED light, like I knew this was going to be it, probably a failure of a painting, but I was I'm, I was willing to try it. So we got some nice red light there, reflected light from the from that tower on the roof. So I, I was really happy about that part of it. Um, I didn't really like a lot of my lines were very sloppy. Like I said, I, I was really focused on the values and the color and that light effect. I wasn't really focused on the shapes or too much. I wasn't trying to get it uh, too detailed or, or correct. You know, it's just a very loose painting. Just trying to get some sh blobs of color and shapes to be somewhat okay, somewhat correct. So I went really dark here at that last, at the last uh, second, probably a little too dark. And uh, to be honest, after I painted this and I was outside looking, I was like, oh man, I ruined it right at the end. I just ruined it with a really dark paint and I uh, just pushed it a little too much. And I kind of knew I was going to push it just because it's my first time experimenting with this. And I'm, I'm pretty happy with th that I that I went out and did it, that I had the courage to kind of do something this crazy. 
you know, it's definitely, it was a fun thing. I definitely want to try some more of these and uh, see what the outcome is. But yeah, we'll take a look at this inside once I get back to the apartment. Oh boy. All right, folks. Well, as you can imagine, that was probably one of the most challenging paintings I've ever done. Most challenging plain air type of painting. Uh, I probably should have stopped a long time ago. I kept overworking it, which was kind of expected because it's such a new subject for me and I was just trying to push it and see how far I could push things. But uh, anyway, I'm going to walk back to my apartment and uh, we'll take a closer look at it there and, and talk about it. We'll see what it looks like. <laughs> that was that was ridiculous. All right, so looking at it now, it's not too bad. Uh, some of the values are pretty good. I mean, this roof looks pretty good. A little bit of light glow from the red and the, the yellow light. Uh, it looks pretty natural in some areas. I think I went a little too dark here on the front of this building. Um, that was a last minute decision that I kind of regret now, unfortunately, because this was really the darkest part. Um, and that's where I started with the really dark darks. And I should have just left it like that. Uh, it's a little, you know, some of the lines are a little messy and stuff, but not too bad. Uh, I wish I would have got more softness overall uh, with everything, just to give more of a night look to it. Uh, too dark here between these red lights. I should have had more of a light glow effect through the middle of this and then darker on the edges. But, uh, you know, for my first effort, it's not too bad. It looked a lot worse outside, but now that it's inside, it's not too bad for my very first try, but definitely need more work. Um, definitely need to practice. But overall, not too, not too mad with the outcome. That was definitely, challen that was, that was definitely challenging, and I, I think the, the challenging part was that the lights were colored. So if they were red and yellow lights, if it was like white lights, that makes it a lot easier because you just use the white of the paper and you have kind of this white glow around everything. And then once you start adding in the red lights, red is already very difficult to paint with and uh, definitely challenging to get like a night light red light glow because red is such a dark kind of dark value. If you add white to it, it just doesn't look that good. And uh, actually before I went out side the paint, I looked at some of Alvaro, uh, Castanier's paintings and uh, cuz he he's really good at doing like this red light red and yellow lights at night and uh, Street paintings and stuff like that. So I was trying to look at some of his to get some inspiration and uh, He's definitely a master compared to me But uh, definitely wasn't an easy subject that I chose, you know architecture at night with the interesting kind of lights like that That's pretty challenging for my first try. So definitely looking forward to trying more of that stuff maybe do a little bit more study in the studio a bit before I try some plain air again, just to get the value structures down, kind of get the idea of what it should look like. Um, so that's probably, that's probably one of my plans, maybe do a study or two of his kind of paintings and just see kind of the values that he gets, compare my plain air values with some of his paintings and see what I come up with. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, I hope this was an interesting, you know, interesting adventure. Definitely was for me. Uh, but anyway, peace.